Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and we're here once again for another awesome tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about the four main types of chemical reactions. So let's begin. There are four main types of chemical reactions, and they are synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, and double replacement. And we'll be talking about all four of them in the following slides. So first up is a synthesis reaction. It's when you have two or more elements or compounds combined to make a more complex substance. So for example, we have Beyonce here plus Jay-Z, and they combine together to make a more complex substance. And I like to tell my students this is kind of like a marriage. So if you look at, at the bottom, here are our reactants. We have A plus B, and they yield AB in a synthesis reaction. Let's look at our next one. In a decomposition reaction, compounds break down into simpler substances. I always like to tell my students this is kind of like a divorce or like two people breaking up. So if you notice, you have Beyonce and Jay-Z, they're married. And for whatever reason, they get divorced. So Beyonce is on her own and then Jay-Z is on his own. So you have the complex substance and then it breaks down into simpler substances. So AB yields A plus B. Let's look at our next one. Our next one we have a single replacement reaction. So this occurs when one element replaces another one in a chemical compound. So for example, you have Beyonce and Jay-Z together and then you have Marquez Houston. He's a, he comes into the picture and for whatever reason Beyonce gets with Marquez Houston and that leaves Jay-Z out on his own. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a hypothetical situation, so please do not take this seriously. And then if you notice, if we look at our chemical equation, on our reaction side, we have AB together plus C. And then if you look on the product side, A gets with C, and then B is left by itself. So this is called a single replacement reaction where one element or one part of the compound is replaced by another part of the compound. So B was replaced with C in this, comp in this compound. Let's look at our last one. Double replacement reaction. And this occurs when different atoms in two different compounds trade places. So for example, you have Beyonce and Jay-Z that are together. Then you have Marquez Houston and Jennifer Freeman that are together. And then for whatever reason, after the chemical reaction, Beyonce is with Marquez Houston, and Jay-Z is with Jennifer Freeman. So if you notice at the bottom, we had AB plus CD, but then if you look on the product side, A got with C and B got with D. So you had two things being replaced in this chemical reaction. So now let's go ahead and take a look at it, and let's do our overall review. So our definition for synthesis has two or more elements or compounds combined to make a more complex substance. And the equation is AB plus A plus B yields AB. Let's look at decomposition. In decomposition, the compounds break down into simpler substances. So for example, in the following equation, AB yields A plus B. And then let's look at single replacement. This occurs when one element replaces another one in a compound. So for example, AB plus C yields AC plus B. Notice C replaced B in the product side of this chemical reaction. Then let's look at double replacement. This occurs when different atoms in two different compounds trade places. So for example, A plus B yields CD. A plus B, AB plus CD yields AC plus BD. And then you see that you have two things that get replaced in this chemical reaction. So now, quiz time. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to write down all four of the questions, and then you're going to answer them on the right-hand side. I will give you 40, uh, let's give you a minute to go ahead and solve these questions starting now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, you should have the solved, or you should have the correct answer for each. So let's look at this first one. This occurs when one element replaces another one in a compound. So when we say replace and there's only one being replaced, that lets us know that this should be single replacement. Wi-Fi isn't set up on your Echo Dot. For help, go to your Alexa app. And then let's look at our next one. It says two or more elements or compounds combine to make a more 
complex substance. So it says they would combine together. So they were apart, but they combined to make a more complex substance. So this right here lets me know that this would be synthesis, a synthesis reaction. And let's look at our third one. It occurs when different atoms in two different compounds trade places. Different atoms in two different compounds and they trade places. This lets me know that not only this is a, a replacement, but this would also be more specifically a double replacement reaction. And then our next one, compounds break down into simpler substances. When they break down, this is kind of like a divorce, like I stated earlier. So this would be a decomposition reaction. So let's move on to our next. So now let's look at quiz review part two. Make sure you write down the formulas on the left-hand side. And I will give you one minute to answer all four of the questions beginning now. Great. Glad you're back with us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure and I'm positive that you did well on this. So let's look at our first one. AB plus CD yields AC plus BD. Two things got replaced. C got replaced with B and B got replaced with C. So that's going to be a double replacement. My writing skills are definitely not the best. But we can all see what they are, what that means. And now let's look at this. A plus B yields AB. They were apart, but now they're together like a marriage. So this would be a synthesis reaction. Let's look at our next one. AB yields A plus B. So they were together, then they broke apart. Much like a divorce. So this would be a decomposition reaction. And now let's look at our last one. AB plus C yields AC plus B. Well, B got replaced with C, and that's the only thing that got replaced. So this would be a single replacement reaction. Look at our next part of our quiz. Now we have our actual chemical formulas, and you're going to write whether they're synth synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, or double replacement. I give you about 30 seconds to go ahead and complete this, and I'll stop the video now. All right, great, ladies and gentlemen. So by this time, you should have your answers for each of the following. So let's start off with number one. Notice that they were apart on the reaction side, but then they came together on the product side. So this should let you know that this is a synthesis reaction. Let's look at our next one. So we have CF plus BR. Notice that carbon and fluorine, this is carbon and fluorine. Anytime you see capital letters, that means they are two separate elements. BR is bromine. So how do I know it's bromine? Because I have a capital B and a lowercase r. If you see that, that lets you know it's one element as well. So now, CF plus BR yields CBR plus F2. Notice one thing got replaced. Fluorine got replaced with bromine in the product section. So one thing got replaced. So that's going to be a single replacement reaction. Now let's go ahead and look at our next problem. If you notice, you got BA, which is barium, your S is sulfur, plus PT, which is going to be plutonium, and then our F is fluorine. And if you notice, we have one, two, three, four elements that we're working with on both sides. And if you notice, fluorine gets replaced, well, actually, sulfur gets replaced with fluorine, and then fluorine gets replaced with sulfur. So you had two elements to get replaced. Sulfur and fluorine got replaced. So this right here would be a double replacement reaction. And then last but not least, 
we have HG, which is mercury, and O, which is oxygen. We had them together, but then they broke apart. So it's kind of much like a divorce, like I've discussed before. And so this would actually be a decomposition reaction. I know you did wonderfully on this section. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this tutorial was helpful, and I hope it, hope it broke down some things and made them simpler for you. I'm Chavis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey, and we're signing off now, and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button below. Y'all have a wonderful and great day. Peace.